And you may also find you have to replace the frost plugs or expansion plugs. Uh, not necessarily replace them, but get them out so you can finish cleaning your component, whether it's a block or a head. Now these frost plugs are actually just these little metal cups. The idea is if the coolant behind there freezes, it will expand. If it expands, it's going to push that plug out instead of cracking the component. To take them out, all we really need is a punch and a hammer. So I'm just going to knock them out right now. I'll give you a quick example. Take our punch in here and you knock them in on an angle like this. And then we can simply grab it with a pair of pliers. And here's my pair of pliers. Grab it, pop it out, replace it. Now this new one here, I guess it's not the right size. We'd send this for cleaning, get it tanked, then take our new one, put it in place. And you don't need to put any kind of sealer on the outside of this. But what you should do is quickly take some emery cloth and clean that bore up. Get your new cross plug and an installer, a little drift, and give it a few whacks and away you go. Just gonna tidy this guy up here a bit. Just some emery cloth, clean it up. Now I don't wanna take any material off because remember this has to seal. We're just gonna clean it up a bit and this is just for demonstration purposes. So yeah, there's some crud in there, that's fine. If you don't have a specific frost plug installation tool, your favorite socket that is the right diameter is gonna be your friend. We can line this guy up in the hole, make sure we drive it in nice and straight. They don't need a ton of, they're not press fit, okay? So they don't need a ton of effort to get these in here. You just wanna make sure you don't overseat them. Just about flush. Nice flush and then just, perfect. Just under the surface here, this here has to seal against something. You see it's a nice machine surface, so it can't stick up any. You don't want them driven down too far. Uh, that's about it. Don't need to buy the fancy tools. Just need to hate one socket.